Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. So for this video, I'm just going to kind of show you guys a workaround uh, to get a large screen Kindle because uh, for some reason, year after year, Amazon refuses to release a Kindle with a screen larger than uh, six or seven inches. They used to have the Kindle DX a long time ago, but uh, they never released another one and they've never released uh, anything larger than six or seven inches since. So uh, some people like larger screen ebook readers, myself included. And so what we've got here is we've got the 10.3 inch Onyx Note 2. Uh, cool thing about the Onyx Note, uh, large screen, 10.3 inches. Also, uh, it runs the Kindle app like very well. Uh, like these Android e-readers, they used to be kind of iffy on running the Android app. Uh, the Kindle Android app like would work kind of good, but then it would get kind of uh, like the screen would get kind of messy after several pages. But now um, Onyx has worked on the software and it works quite well. They have like this customizing option in here. We can go and like customize uh, different apps and sort of set up the refresh frequency, sort of set up how it's going to uh, lay out on the page. You got the uh, bold font option. You got some different refresh modes. So you got all these different customizable settings for third party apps on the uh, Android devices now. And um, yeah, the Kindle app, it works surprisingly well. I mean, I use it on here. Uh, and you can go in, you can uh, customize the contrast to get the text a little bit darker here. So you got the contrast setting. Um, and then you've also got a global contrast setting up here if you wanted to just use that instead of the app optimize um, setting. But yeah, so I mean the text, it looks good. The refresh rate is excellent. You can have the page fully refresh just like a regular Kindle. Uh, the only thing when you have that contrast setting on is it will darken uh, images as well. So one thing I found is if you want to have your images uh, clearer, you got to uh, back off the contrast setting so your text isn't quite as dark, but then your uh, images will look you know, normal. So if you go down to the lower setting, you get your, uh, your images aren't all dark. So you can also, you know, load in comics on here and, uh, anything that the Kindle Android app will work with. So, uh, it's definitely a good workaround. Uh, if you want a large screen Kindle, I mean, these Onyx devices aren't cheap, but they're a lot more advanced than Kindles. You got the Android operating system. I mean, you can c connect Bluetooth keyboards with these devices. Uh, they're really good for PDFs and it's got the Wacom touchscreen so you can write notes on the screen. So, I mean, with the Kindle app, you can come in, um, customize your font sizes. So obviously larger fonts work better on the larger screen than they do on those little Kindles. Like I don't even know why they have so many large font sizes when you can only get like four words on the screen, but a larger screen like this, you can really take advantage of the larger font sizes. Um, so like the scrolling, it works pretty well too. I mean, it's not quite as smooth as you're going to have like on a tablet or something. Cause obviously these apps are designed for tablets, but I mean, it works well enough, uh, to be useful. You can uh, add notes, highlights, use the dictionary, look up all the usual stuff. So I mean, as far as the app goes, it's uh, it's very functional on the Onyx devices. Uh, they have a number of uh, different screen sizes. You've got the 10.3 uh, inch model shown here. You got a 13.3 inch model. They got a 7.8 inch model. Uh, you can use a stylus to add notes. So like some people want to know if you can use the stylus to write on Kindle books, but the Kindle app doesn't support that. So you're not going to be able to do that. But I mean, you can use the uh, stylus to add text notes and highlights this way. Uh, just like you would with your finger. So like you can add text notes using the stylus because it has the on-screen keyboard, which will convert your handwritten text to type text. Um, but you can't actually write on the actual screen because the uh, app doesn't support that. But you can do that with Onyx's uh, built-in app for like EPUBs and PDFs. So you've got, you know, the usual settings. And for the uh, Android app, you can even uh, invert the screen color. So if you wanted to have the black background with the white text, now this doesn't work quite as well as it does on the Kindle because the Kindle has been optimized for this and it's just a little bit smoother uh, the way it refreshes. But I mean, it is usable on the Android app if you wanted to use the night mode feature. So I mean, overall, the Android app works surprisingly well on these Onyx devices. I mean, they are effectively an alternative for, for Kindles. I mean, if you want to read your Kindle library on one of these Onyx devices, it works pretty well. I mean, it's not going to be quite as smooth as an experience as you get on the Kindle because our software has been like perfectly optimized for all the stuff. Like you can see right there on the text size box option, you don't actually see the arrows because they, that's just something that happens with these Android apps sometimes because they're not designed for black and white ink screen. Sometimes the menu options will be kind of blacked out. You kind of got to guess at what's going on. But I mean, overall, I mean, the app does work well. You can load up some, you know, comics, manga on here, um, pinch zooming, you know, it's not ultra smooth like it is on a tablet. You get the flashing with the ink, but it is usable. After all the success Onyx has had with these larger models and some other companies too, I still just can't believe that Amazon still refuses to release a 10-inch Kindle. I think there'd be a huge market for it. 
I think a lot of people, especially older folks, they want to use larger font sizes and they don't mind having a larger device to read at home. They don't have to take it with them everywhere. I mean, six inch Kindles are nice for the portability factor, but I mean, you can't uh, replace a 10 inch screen like this. They're really nice. I mean, people have 10 inch tablets. Why can't we have a 10 inch Kindle? I have no clue. So uh, you even can use the more advanced features like with the the t word runner right here as you can see the words get kind of uh run together when you're using regular refresh mode but if you switch over to speed mode um one of the advantages with onyx's devices they have the different uh, refresh settings so then once you do that i mean everything's nice and clear even when you increase the speed of word runner right here you can also use you know the uh, audible feature where it read where it highlights the text as it reads aloud uh, works fine when you use the speed mode like this that refresh of the ink is actually surprisingly good i mean you, you can even play video on here. I don't know why anybody would, but they can. Uh, these devices can play video. I mean, the sc sc scrolling is quite smooth here in the Kindle store. So what it does is it will enter the uh, partial refresh mode when you're scrolling so that the scrolling is pretty smooth. And then once you stop scrolling, it'll do the refresh right there. So it'll sort of like reset the screen. But I mean, it does work well. So if you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, you get a little bit of ghosting. Uh, but the uh, reaction is, I mean, it's smooth. Um, and then, like I said, it'll do that refresh after a couple seconds once you pause it, and then it'll make everything nice and clear. So, I mean, the Kindle app works just as smoothly on their 7.8-inch model. That's not a huge step up from the 7-inch Kindle Oasis, but the screen is a little bit larger. Uh, and then, of course, they got the 10.3-inch model, like I said here, and an even larger 13.3-inch model. So, uh, you've got some options for a larger screen Kindle if you really want one, even though Amazon still refuses to release one. But, I mean, it does work well enough on these Onyx devices uh, to be usable and they also have like you know some extra features you got the uh, warm front light you can blend the two colored front lights so you can have the orange or the cool color if you want like the kindle oasis has i mean so this runs android uh, was it 9.0 it's got the recent apps list so you can jump all around it's got a note app and onyx's default app like i said it's really really good for pdfs um, it's just like a better read experience to me so we got all these 10 inch you know tablets why can't we have more 10 inch e-readers it just makes no sense to me that we don't have a 10 inch kindle screen is so much better for reading as you can see here next to an ipad um, and you can write on the screen using onyx's default app with pdfs works great you can even write on epub ebooks and stuff so i mean the device it's a lot more advanced than a kindle even supports audio even text to speech um, i mean you can do all kinds of stuff with this device uh, connected to a keyboard uh, they sell their own um Bluetooth keyboard that actually you can dock the device into it right here. So, I mean, you got a lot of choices, a lot more advantages with the Onyx devices compared to like a basic Kindle because it's basically like an e-ink tablet. So, I mean, it can be useful for a lot more things than just reading. You can use it for, uh, you know, note taking. You can type notes on here. You can use word processor, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to wrap up this video right here. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the ebookreader.com for more info. Bye.